Welcome to the vlog. You should open it with O Canada. Oh yeah. Oh Canada. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Our home and native vlog. Good job. <laughs> Hello my sweet beautiful sweethearts. My little hotties. My babes. My babies. It's Valentine's Day. Well, it's not actually Valentine's Day. It's almost Valentine's Day though. Um, anyway, hi. I just wanted to come on here and say welcome to the vlog and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I wanted to say thank you to our sponsor for today, which is Fetch. And I'm so excited about the sponsor, you guys. I have never talked to you about Fetch, but I'm really excited because I am a receipt hoarder. That's just like a little fun fact about me. I always get a receipt. And now with Fetch, I can make these receipts useful. I'm so excited to tell you guys about this. Basically, Fetch is this free, super easy to use app where you can get free rewards on literally anything you buy. So let me show you. So all you have to do is scan your receipts and you'll earn points. So no matter where you shop from, what you buy, any receipts will get you points. The receipts that I'm scanning here are from restaurants and a gas station. Um, and the scanning process only takes a couple seconds. It's super easy. And then those rewards turn into gift cards. So these are just some of the places and things that you can use your rewards for. There's like different types of retail, there's clothing stores, there's travel options. And you can also do like health and beauty places like Sephora or Ulta or you can put them towards charities. It's just amazing. And when you scan the receipt, you redeem the points and you spend those rewards all from your phone in minutes. It's awesome. Um, now, if you're not a receipt hoarder like me, you can also get points from your e-receipts. So you just have to connect your email and your Amazon accounts and Fetch will automatically go through and give you points for those online purchases. Fetch is seriously awesome, you guys. It's so easy to use and so fun to get points for the shit that you buy. I just, I love it. So you guys should try it. Um, click the link in my description. Use code CREPL and get 3,000 points when you scan your first receipt. Go check it out. Enjoy the vlog. Love you guys. Um, we are in Canada. So uh, crack open the maple syrup and get yourselves some moose antlers. <laughs> What's that? Like some, like off a of moose, like real moose antler? Yeah, get yourself a moose antler headband and, and, and Join that in. Is a tradition here. Get those, get those hockey sticks now because we're in Canada. Okay, hi, we're in Canada. We're in the beautiful, what is it? Tundra. No, but like, <laughs> it's not a state. Province. Of? Alberta. And the city is Calgary? Mm. Okay, oof. We're in the beautiful province of Alberta, Canada. And we are in the city of Calgary, which is where my sweet fiance, Cody is from. <laughs> Do you guys know Cody? Also, yesterday at the airport, someone came up and said, are you Kelsey? <laughs> Remember that? No. I was so saying that does not happen every day. Usually it's like Cody and Kelsey or Cody. Oh, hey Kelsey or Cody. And can you take this picture? But he was like, oh my God, are you Kelsey Kreppel? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I love your videos. And then he like said, said hi to Cody. And I was like, holy shit. The Kelsinators <laughs> are coming out stronger and better than ever. And we were talking yesterday, and, and she was like, my story got like 500,000 views or something like that, and I was like, I, I get a fraction of that, <laughs> if anything. I, have you guys noticed that I've been trying to post on Instagram more? I've really been trying to be more interactive on my stories, which I was telling you about how I wanted to do. Anyway, so we're in Canny, Canny Wanny. We are on our way to Tim Hortons. <laughs> I've been to Tim Hortons once. I don't really like remember it, but I'm really excited to go again. It's pretty absurd that we're driving 15 minutes to go to Tim Hortons and then come back. That's like, nobody does that. I want. Like Tim Hortons is a place Excuse you stop me. at if it's on the way, you know? It's like Dunkin'. I'm really excited, I don't care. No, I'm I excited, I'm excited too. I just think it's, it's kind of funny and ridiculous that we're like commuting to Tim we're Hortons. We're crazy. We're so crazy and ridiculous. No, I and get it. And a little it, like, like quirky. A little quirky. Yeah, zany. Yep. Oh, look at this sign. Okay, well you can't see it, but it says Calgary. Be part of the energy. Canada. Uh. 
Mm. This is the best donut in the world. Right here. You heard it here first, folks. I swear to God. Tell me that's not. It's like a Yorkshire pudding, but like <laughs> ice. <laughs> it was good. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay, so that was the honey cruller. Cruller. I always say cruller. I don't know how to actually pronounce it, but here. I got mm. a sour cream glazed. I got like a little egg hash brown and cheese wrap thing. And Cody got, what did you get? Turkey bacon club, let's go! And then I got a cinnamon, cinnamon caramel oat latte. Oh my God. That's fucking good. Oh God, yes, it's good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. I like dense donuts better than light ones. Same. This has got some sort of like sauce in it, that's really good. Mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. What kind of sauce? Oh. Why does Wendy's have such a long drive-thru line right now? No, that's, that's Timmy's. But Wendy's has a drive-thru too. That's Wendy's. Mm -hmm. This is a Tim Hortons one. But I'm saying like, why does Wendy's have a drive-thru line right now? This egg is a little weird to me. Why? And why is it like that color? It looks good. Can I have a bite? Mm-hmm. It's good. It's processed. How's yours? Incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, spicy sauce on it. That's, that reminds me of the Taco Bell uh, breakfast. breakfast crunch wrap. Yeah, it's got, it's like a Southwest sauce. Tim Hortons, 10 out of 10. Can't wait to come back tomorrow. Let's put a fucking slap. Now, we have to go to the superstore and pick up plastic champagne flutes. Cody's parents are throwing an engagement party for his sister and her fiance. I, th I must have told you this. They were supposed to get married over COVID, but then they had to push everything back. Mm -hmm. So this was supposed to happen. A long time ago. It's happening now, but now we're also engaged, so now they're like, it's for all of, all of us, I guess. So yeah, that's tonight. I'll do a little GRWM. A what? Get ready with me. Mm. Oh my god, that was good. Here we go. Woo! Oh man, everything's done. Oh wait. Still that. Uh, wonderful. One cream, one sugar. I don't do the double double because when I'm feeling kind of like a big boy, I'll get the double double. Okay, you're talking to the girl who got a cinnamon caramel oat latte. <laughs> Is there, is there any more of that sour mm -hmm. cream? Yeah, there is. Can we bust off a little piece of roni in that? Or? Woo! Let's go! I, I thought they usually do roll up the rim to win at Christmas. That's like a classic Tim Hortons thing. I don't know if they do that anymore. People in Canada, you it's gotta let me know Christmas. if they still do that. Roll up the rim to win! I don't know if they do it in that accent. I think I'm gonna have yeah, that. Yeah, that was wild. It's you like finish your coffee and then you roll up the rim. Mm. And then it like tells you under the rim if there's That's a prize cool. or not. Yeah, it's pretty sick. <sighs> yeah, they're all about rim, rims and rimming. <laughs> in <Hortons>. Canada <laughs> or Tim Hortons. Yeah, Tim's a big rimmer. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go into the superstore right now. Look at this beautiful sight. We just got back from the superstore and I filmed us walking in and just us walking around a little bit. And then some lady came up to me and asked me why I was filming and I don't really think that she was too pleased about the whole thing. But I said it was just to remember our trip. But either way, I'm not gonna post any of that. But there's a superstore. It says Canadian Superstore and it's massive. And I wish I could have shown you guys. <laughs> now we're going back home. Who the hell knows what's gonna happen when we get there? <laughs> I got, we got plastic glasses and plastic shot glasses. And I'm gonna see if I can get someone to take a shot tonight, but I'm actually not gonna do that because I think that would scare everyone. So I'm just gonna be on my best behavior and then I'll take shots secretly in the corner by myself. <clears throat> that was also a joke, but I will take one shot with Cody secretly at some point, right Code? Let's do it publicly. Okay. Should this be the vlog where I get drunk? I always, I never post about drinking <laughs> and I wanna start. By the way, we, uh... Finished Sopranos last night. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys, we finished Sopranos last night. Oh my god. Pretty I mean... insane stuff. The ending, at first we were like, there's absolutely no way. We're not gonna say what happens. No, but if you know, if you know, then you know, and you can comment being like, yeah, I thought the same thing. Don't spoil it. Don't but no like, spoilers. The end is like, what? We both thought our TV broke. Yeah. The and end... then like, I rewinded it like five times. And then I Googled it to make sure that our episode wasn't fucked up or whatever. And then we learned like the meaning behind it and it just 
was like, it's genius. Yeah. It's genius. It blew our minds. Um, and then the second thing that blew my mind was that, uh, you guys aren't gonna care, but you know Sill? I don't know if you know Sill. Sill, he's in the show for all the for the whole time, and he's also in Bruce Springsteen's band, the E Street Band, and I love Bruce Springsteen, so I already knew who he was through that. But then, his wife, I always thought she was like the most beautiful woman on the show, she's stunning, found out that's his wife in real life, so. That is actually pretty cool. Stevie Van Zandt, and I think her name's Maureen Van Zandt. Anyway, thought that was wild. Then we watched a reunion, <laughs> reunion interview, which is very fun to watch. Kinda sad. A little depressing. Yeah, they're kind of like, like really old. I'm ready. Um, I did not do a guy ready with me, because I was rushed, of course, and I'm never on time. Um, but here I am. Hey, hey fam. This is my outfit. My dress is from Aritzia. And these are Aloha's, I believe. Let's have an engagement party. And can we do 10, 10 Timbits as well, just assorted? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, let's go. Thank you. Thank you, love those Timbits, you know? So good. All right, I'll see you up there. <laughs> uh, guess where we are again? Once again. Oh, look at it. See you tomorrow. Yep. Well. We got our Tim Hortons again, and it's the next day after the party, and that I'll was, tell you about that. That was the... Oh shit, what am I doing? Cody. The traffic circle. Cody. Ah. We just had the best drive through experience ever. We're on our way to Banff, by the way. We're spending the day and the night in Banff, which is very exciting. And I'm so happy to have you guys come along with us for this journey. So we just went to Tim Hortons, as you saw, Cody ordered, and then we got up to the fucking window within four seconds and everything was ready, which is for me a bit concerning, but all in all, fine. How is it even possible to get food ready that fast? It, like, was, it was literally 20 seconds. It, whoa. Aw. Okay, cute sneezies. Bless you. It was so fast and the girl was absolutely all business and she was just so stoked and she was doing her job. She was like, food, Timbits, coffee. And then we were like, hell yeah. And she was like, yeah, have a good day. And I was like, love you. And she was like, I, I love you. I don't know that she said, and I love you, but I'm sticking to she that. Did. She definitely did. She totally did. Ben. Badass motherfucker. We're stoked, you guys. Stoked, Cam. <laughs> you guys, look at this place that we're staying. It looks like Harry Potter. Pretty sick, right? Stunning. Look at this mountain. <laughs> this little <laughs> town. We walked around the hotel for a little bit. Now we're gonna walk Bear Street. I mean, this is the most perfect place in the world. Yeah, we, we parked here one time and there was a gigantic moose just right here. Really? Yes, just walking around town. I just love this place. So we went into this little like art gallery and there was just like all of these bear, these like marble bear statues and this like huge picture of a bear. And I didn't film in there because I didn't think I was allowed to, so I didn't, but it was so amazing. And then I cried because the marble bear was so beautiful and I liked to rub its little snout and play with its little ears. But I do realize that that was a marble statue and I know that that sounds probably insane, but that's how I felt. And now we're gonna walk around Bayan, but I'm gonna wear my new hat. And I got mittens too, but I don't think I'm gonna wear them because you can't really function in mittens. I feel like mittens are kind of like robes. Like mittens should be wearing worn in the house just to like keep you comfy. I'm gonna start that house mittens only. We're waiting outside for this candy shop. The candy shop. shop. Oh. Welcome to the candy oh. shop. Oh. I'll let you lick the lala. The lollipop. Go ahead, girl, don't you stop. Famous candy store. Every time we came to Banff as a child, I would, this, I would, this is what we came here for. Hey hotties, we're back in the car after walking around. We got some candy. We got caramels, we got like some sour stuff for my brother. My brother is watching chili right now, so we got him some like sour candies that I think he's really gonna like. These little blocks are just like little candy blocks. This type of candy, like just hard, sour. These colors, they look like this, but they're bears. 
Does anybody know what I'm talking about? And does anybody know where you can find them? I used to love them. And then they stopped selling them. These are fucking good though. These are really good. This is sick. I absolutely love it. We made it to our room. It's super cute, beautiful. We have this beautiful ass view. Look at that, you guys. It's amazing. And we got these little, these little guys. Can I just say something? Two and a half years ago, maybe before we went on tour, our agent was like, you should use your, you should use this travel agent. And I was like, travel agent? Who uses travel agents anymore? So we started using him and shout out Mark. He's the best. Cause every time we book through him, we get upgraded and we get this shit too. Everywhere we go, we get this note and like treats and it's the best. Use a travel agent. It's sick. Shout out Mark. Wow, that was a sweet little little moment. Doran Fast is his last name. Okay. Shout out Mark. Thank you, Mark. And also, if you don't know, like this isn't an ad for them at all. It's just cool. Like for Sedona, for example, we went to Sedona, I was like, what are the best places? And he just like sent me a list. He's what? amazing. Yeah. I love when you talk with such like passion about Mark. All right, we're gonna hit the spa. We're going to the pools. Do a little re relaxing. I, it's kind of making me the opposite of relaxed when I think about that, but it's gonna be okay. You don't have to come if you don't want. I guess, I know I'm gonna enjoy it. You are. It's a brownie. Is it? Let's go! Hi. Now we just got ready and we're gonna go get fondueski. Oh my god. Beautiful and like the trees. Oh my goodness. Look and at like that. Christmas lights on them. It's just Harry Potter. Stunning. We just landed back in LA. Yesterday was nice. We went to the spa. I just like swam in the plunge pools and stuff, but Cody got a massage. And now we're home and look who it is. Say hi to everybody, they miss you. I'm eating some food, some Greek food, Cody just Ate and then he had a meeting, so now I'm just sitting here eating. I'm so happy to be home. It was such a nice trip, though. Dinner time. It's for the rest of the week. I need to tell you guys something. I'm addicted to crab rangoons. Okay, I can't stop eating them. Anyway, so I love crab rangoons. So I I found this really good Chinese food place that has them, and oh, hole still there. And so I wanted to get that for dinner. It's a little like comforty food after you get home on the plane. Shower, got my PJs on. PJs, these are from Target. So yeah, we got our Krabby Rangoons. I got some fried rice. Tofu, Kung Pao tofu. Cody got orange chicken, hot and sour soup, fried rice. I put a little extra soy sauce and some of the black vinegar on it. We're watching Euphoria. Okay. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and thanks for coming to Canada with us and we love you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye.